Uh, here's another tune we'll use in our little tutorial of these tunes. And I'll, I'll stick to another one that's a little bit more modern, like I did when I went into... Uh, um, uh, now, you'll have to remember that Alice Blue Gown was written about uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt's daughter wearing a gown that was blue that the society people called, decided to call it Alice Blue and sell it. So that's where the song comes from, their Alice Blue Gown. Uh, so you'll have to remember that was way back when, when that tune was written. And so when you're talking about modern, modern is only compared to the, how much the band or the orchestra or the piano player is putting in substitutes all the time. Now I'm basically talking here about using them as just a movement line, a movement line. In other words, they're going somewhere. They're suspended for a moment. That's what you call suspensions. They're suspended for a moment and then they go. They hold in for a second one of the notes and then it releases and goes somewhere else. So you see, that's what, that's what those things do. So they, they have been around forever. Composers have written beautiful lines like that forever since they started doing the modern kind of major and minor scales. So uh, what we're doing is playing within the idiom as much as possible. Now with Woody I probably wouldn't play a lot of those lines unless I wanted to just get a, a movement out of the musicians or, or Woody or the audience or something. Otherwise I'd stick pretty straight to it. Pretty straight rhythm and straight. straight rather than going rather than moving things around like that. You see rather than moving things around, I probably wouldn't with Woody, I would with some of the other bands around. Like when Carl Fox and I are playing together, we do that stuff all the time and just have a ball. Because we we we're pretty much on the same length harmonic wise and all. So I'm going to a tune now that's called Birth of the Blues. And it's again in uh, a key of uh, C, as Alice Lugan was. And I'll just play the melody a little bit first. I'll just get through the, um, the verse. Now the verse has got, already got some suspensions written into it, like this sort of thing. And that's an A flat to the G. So the C, that's already written in here. So if it starts out with, oh, they say some people are good, that's a F9. So it's, oh, they say some people are good, we're searching now F9, F7, I mean F7, for a different, to G7, two, now here comes that A flat, one that they could to the G7 uh, as on, now it combines it and goes down only they to the G7 to the C and then it repeats that they only now climbs had the rhythm so started, here comes the F9 again, swaying to and fro, they didn't know just what to, to, to use, the A flat again is how the G7, and then really be, that's the A flat 7 to the G7 to the C. seven in there to finish off the thing and then the song starts here's your C chord with a G on top A, a flat seven chord her G7 the breeze in the trees And from the jail 
What are you going to do? F minor 6. Now, here comes the bridge. From a whippoorwill goes up to an E. That's kind of an F7. High on the E again, 7 again. Use that F again, F7. They took a new note down to the E7 and then they did with the A7. It's a cycle of fifths. Into a cycle of fifths, D7. To the G7. Off the G7, A flat 7, G7. I'm just putting the B in to make a major 7. Nurse it. C sharp diminished. It re D minor. First it. And then the G7. And give augmented. C augmented. The blues. Sharp diminish, put a D on top, that the seven, D minor six chord, G7, gave over to the blues. So to most anything. So you see how that works. Now the, the bridge. Now that's just uh, E7 card from a whippoorwill. Go 
Verse 2 and F7, high on up back to the hill. Did it backwards. I'm a whipper will high on the hill. Day to the new note. Then it goes to the cycle A7. So that's probably here, but it probably goes down from the E to the A. Or you could play it out here. Open it up. And then the D7. Now you could have gone for that D7. So you can get as modern as you want. Now that's what the modern players do. They put them in there so they'll be dissonant against one another. I try to not use the dissonance as much as possible. I try to move it from this chord instead of doing that to this chord. And you'll miss that dissonant of, of this being here against that, you see. So you kind of got to, after a while, use your head on it, or it depends on how modern a group you're playing with. If you're playing, playing a more modern group, I'll play those chords right off the bat. I'll just go for, for a C chord, or, you know, there's a, you know, there's a blues I'll get into after a while. It shows you that augmented nine chord. That was Birth of the Blues. <laughs> 